Hey guys, we're going to be covering um, integrating powers of x in this session. Let's get started. So there is a, a formula for it, um, for integrating powers of x. So this is what it is. But this is only valid if, um, well, it's actually invalid if n equals negative 1. So just if you want to take that down somewhere. And we'll have a look at a couple of examples. Also, this is just a revision of last year as well, so it might start coming back to you. So here's an example, anti-differentiate x to the power of 7. Now, anti-differentiate is pretty much just another word for integrate. So we have, we have to write it with the integral sign and the dx sign. And this would mean we'll add 1 to the 7, so it'll become 7 plus 1, divided by the new power, which is 7 plus 1 as it is. And of course, we've got to put plus c, because when we're integrating it, um, we don't know if there was a constant there or not. So simplifying this, it'll be x to the power of 8 over 8 plus c. Okay, next example. This time I want to work out um, integral of square root of x dx. Now, I know that square root of x is, can be written as x to the power of half. And once I have that, things start becoming an e a little bit easy. So I add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, which means I'd have half plus 1, and that's divided by half plus 1. And of course, I have to add the plus c to it. Simplifying this, I would get x3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 plus c. And going on a bit further with this, simplifying it further, I would get 2x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 plus c. Um, let's see, you could have actually really stopped at the second line, but um, I'm just showing how to simplify it further on. There is one more step you could actually do, and that is bringing the square root symbol back in. So it'll be 2 thirds square root of x cubed plus c. Okay. Um, you do not need to simplify it all the way to the end. Um, you can actually leave it, um, let's say, around this part right here. And you'd still be correct. Okay, on to the next example. In this example, I want to determine 1 over x cubed, integral of, of that. Um, so the first thing that I would want to do here is rewrite x cubed. Um, uh, rewrite x so that it's on in the numerator. So this would become x to the power of negative 3 dx. And now the usual drill again. Add 1 to the power, which means negative 3 plus 1, divided by negative 3 plus 1 as well. And of course I need the plus c. So simplifying this, I would get x to the power of negative 2 divided by negative 2 plus c. And finally simplifying it further on, I would get negative 1 divided by 2x squared plus c. And once again, you would still be on the right track if you actually stop at this step right here. All right, you do not need to simplify all the way to the end, but it's just a good habit to do that. All right, guys, one last example, and then we'll be done for the session. Okay, in this one, I'd like to work out the integral of 3x squared minus 2x divided by x. So I write the question down as it is first. So I've got 3x squared take away 2x over x dx. Now if I have a fraction um, I could actually separate the denominators. So in this case I'm going to separate the denominators like this. So I'm going to have 3x squared divided by x minus 2x divided by x. All right, and because th this would make things a little bit easier, I can get rid of the denominator because I know that x and x cancels out there. And then on this side, 3x squared divided by x can cancel out the x's, which means I would have 3x minus 2 dx. So a little um, cancellation, and you've got something really simple here to work with. Now integrating this, I would get 3x to the power of 1 plus 1, and that's over 1 plus 1. And of course, if whenever I integrate a number, I would simply get x as it is by itself. And of course, I still need the plus c. So the answer for this 
or when it's worked out, would be 3x squared divided by 2 minus 2x plus c. And that's the final answer there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background. Can't really help these cranes. But yeah, till next time. Cheers for watching.